blood so and you can call me rbc i work in a system called circulatory system my job there is to deliver oxygen throughout your body and transport carbon dioxide to your lungs well my job is tough but i need to do it for you to be alive oh no my co-worker said that there's something bad happening some oxygen doesn't reach your body oh this is really bad i need to get back to work see you guys later when the body is deficient to oxygen this will result to an imbalance in the body and it is called hypoxia the process of homeostasis of the body is triggered so that the imbalance can be corrected. The kidney cells detect the low oxygen level, so does they release the hormone called erythropoietin. It is because it stimulates the production of the red blood cells. Now, the red bone marrow gets the stimulation of the erythropoietin. This leads to an erythropoiesis which increases the count of the red blood cells in the body. The increase of the red blood cell count means the increase of the oxygen carrying ability. And now, your body will be in balance. That was tough, but finally, we did it. And now you are doing a physical activity. We need to get back to work again. See you guys later. When your physical activity increases, such as when you exercise or go for a run, your cellular respiration also increases, which means the production of the carbon dioxide increases. When this happens, medulla oblongata is stimulated and it sends impulses to the heart and to the breathing muscle later. The sent impulses to the heart increases the heart rate and the red blood cells with carbon dioxide is brought faster to the lungs. While the sent impulses to the breathing muscle later, it increases the breathing rate and the carbon dioxide exhale drop rate. Finally, your body has enough oxygen level and your carbon dioxide level is normal. And that's how blood oxygen level and carbon dioxide homeostasis works.